the hands of a skilled hunter. The hammer is more than a weapon. It's a force of nature. Its thunderous strikes, calculated timing, and unparalleled impact makes it an indispensable tool for those brave souls who dare to face the colossal monsters of the world. So, if you're seeking the thrill of high-impact combat and the satisfaction of toppling giants, look no further than the hammer, a true symbol of a monster hunter's might. Welcome class to my basic hammer guide. Hammer is a strong bludgeoning weapon that lets you deal strong damage and be relatively mobile. You will not be able to severe tails with this, but every hit to the monster's head deals KO damage and with enough hits, the monster will be knocked out for a few seconds, allowing you and your party to wail on it. If you are unsure about what it means to KO a monster or what status effect does, please watch my previous lecture. The link is at the top right corner of this video. Tap the screen for basic attack and you can tap 3 times to do a double hit combo followed by a golf swing. This golf swing deals great damage so if you have an opening big enough, you should really go for it. If you are too far away from the monster, tap and you'll slide in and do a side blow which you can then continue to tap into the golf swing combo. To perform any charge actions, tap and hold the screen to charge. While you are charging, you will automatically move towards the monster as well. If you see one blink, that's level 1, two blinks, that's level 2, and three blinks for level 3. Level 1 charge lets you do a charge side blow. You can continue to tap to do a back swing followed by the golf swing combo. Level 2 charge lets you do an up swing attack. This is also a gap closer and can bring you closer to the monster. If you have an opening, you can continue to tap for the big bang combo. This big bang combo is a variation from the one in the main games. Instead of 5 hits, you do 2 hits followed by the final big bang. Do note that if you miss any of the first 2 hits, you will not be able to continue with the final big bang. Level 3 charge lets you do a charged big bang attack. Hammer's special attack is the spinning bludgeon. You will spin and hit the monster 5 times followed by a huge golf swing. Focus affects how fast you charge your attacks. Slugger affects how much KO damage you do. The higher slugger level you have, the faster you'll knock out the monster. But yeah, somehow in this game, if you break parts while the monster is knocked out, it gets up immediately. So this is something to think about. As mentioned earlier, a feature of Hammer is its ability to perform KO but only if you hit the head enough times. Lock on helps you achieve this. Before we talk about the different builds, take note that you may need to upgrade certain pieces to unlock skills. Credits to Godistic who took time to write different guides and build recommendations. My following list were inspired by his recommendations, but I have made adjustments to it. In early game, we use Kulu Helm, Gloves and Boots, Great Jagras Waist and Puke Puke Chest. This gives you Lock On, Focus 1 and Crit Eye 4. In mid game, up until Anjanov, if you are still not comfortable with using Hammer at this juncture and want to learn more about the monster's attack pattern, you could go with Kulu Helm, Puke Chest, Palumu Glove and Waist and Juro Turtles Boots. This gives you Lock On, Crit Eye 1, Focus 3, Divine Blessing 3, and Concentration 2. Now if you wish to be a little more aggressive, you can swap out Great Jagras Waste for Engine of Waste for their special boost. This works well with the set since Palomu Gloves gives Concentration 2.
For raw damage, you can go with Rathalos Helm, Chest, Waist, Ratian Gloves, and Jura Total's Boots. This gives you Attack Boost 2, Weakness Exploit 2, Burst 2, Lock On, and Focus 3. For Fire Hammer, you can go with Anginef's Helm and Gloves, Rathalos Chest and Waist, and Jura Total's Boots. This gives you Fire Attack 5, Weakness Exploit 2, and Focus 3. This set does not come with Lock On, so please take note of that. An alternate fire build with Lock On swaps out Anginef Helm for Kulu Helm. Fire attack drops to 3, but you get Lock On and Crit I1. You lose out a little of fire attack, but you get Crit and the ability to Lock On. This is huge since Lock On means that you can aim for the hit easily. Most monsters' hit are considered weak spots other than Baroth and Diablos. So Lock On works well with Weakness Exploit. For Water Hammer, you can go with Puke Helm, Jura Todos Chest and Glove, Rathalos Waist and Great Jagras Boots. This would give you Focus 2 and Water Attack 5. For Thunder Hammer, you can go with Puke Helm, Toby Chest and Waist, Ratian Gloves and Jura Todos Boots. This will give you Focus 3, Thunder Attack 3, Burst 2 and Lock On. For Poison Hammer, you can go with Puke Helm and Waist, Ratian's Chest and Gloves and Jura Todos Boots. This will give you Focus 3, Poison Attack 4, Burst 2 and lock on. A build with less poison swaps out Ratian Chest for Puke Chest and Jura Todos Boots for Diablos. This gives you Focus 2, Burst 2, Lock On, Poison Attack 2, Part Breaker 1, and Slugger 2. Currently, monsters recover from their knockout when you break a body part, but not poison. This means that the monster can be knocked out on the ground and triggering poison will not allow the monster to miraculously recover. For Paralysis Hammer, you can go with Puke Helm and Chest, Rattan Gloves, Rattalos Waist, and Jiros Boots. This will give Focus 3, Burst 2, Lock On, and Paralysis Attack 2. With this build and enough luck, you may be able to paralyze the monster twice in a hunt. Alternatively, we can simply build it like how we did with our raw build for the power. Rathalos Helm, Chest and Waist, Ratian's Gloves and Jura Total's Boots. This gives Attack Boost 2, Weakness Exploit 2, Burst 2, Lock On and Focus 3. This allows you to really pack a punch while still paralyzing the monster at least once a fight. Once again, this build may not be the best out there, but these builds would be what I would use if I am playing those different hammers. We may have differing views, but that's really what this game is all about. There isn't only one way to create armor builds, so please do comment down below if you have different ideas on armor builds and want to have a discussion with me or anyone else watching this video. Before we end this off, I would like to say that I'm starting to see you guys answering questions in the comment section. And I'm really happy to see that most of you are being respectable to one another. Thanks for watching, and as usual, class dismissed. Bye bye.